Okay, so for today's video, we're actually doing a little camo grind. Um, kind of like a easy guide for getting the all your secondaries done. So for me, I technically don't have, uh, I think it's interstellar for multiplayer. So this is going to be for the multiplayer grind. And we're just doing the secondaries. Only the second. Well, just the secondaries right now. So I forgot to... Well, I forgot to ask you guys to, all, to both leave a like, that way this video can reach out to more people, and also subscribe because that will also do me such a huge favor. So uh, if you guys can do that, I would, I, again, greatly appreciate it. Um, and without further ado, let's get back into the video. I think the next time I actually do this... I'm gonna do uh, zombies related stuff because I mean I see when I'm playing zombies I like I just completed the all the acts for the outbreak DMZ thing and I see that like a lot of people are either like all the people who I've been playing playing with and like whoever I'm around they're all stuck on like certain missions and. I also know like really quick and very easy ways of doing each of those missions too. So like for that, I will be doing like for each act. But uh, for today, we're actually just working on the weapon, uh, the camo grind, the multiplayer camo grind. So first things first, pistols, well the handguns. Uh, for handguns, you have the core. You have the core, the Renetti, the uh, tier, the wasp dinger and that is it so that is all for the model warfare 3 pistols but uh for the core so all the pistols are actually very easy to do so right now i'm right now i'm at uh forge and i'm working on my price list but doing this isn't so incredibly easy like there is no way that anyone could really like kind of like struggle on it but for just in case like anyone's like confused about certain challenges because i mean the way they word things for the challenges are very very specific like they're very specific in a way where if you don't do this certain action it will not count and i actually had to come i came across that for like some of the uh some of the other weapons where it really started to piss me off just doing it because it's like a whole bunch of challenges that are it's like a long a lot of you gotta do it a, like a lot of times and then like for this game is i feel like the sometimes the guns could be a little inconsistent um but here we go so for the core for the first camo challenge which you unlock at level two you just gotta get 50 kills then uh ads kills at level nine and 10 kills while moving so while moving so there's two different um camo challenges so there's while moving and while strafing so this one's while moving so as long as you're like moving left right up down you just got to be constantly moving for the count then 15 kills akimbo so for the akimbo challenge it kind of sucks that you had them ma max out the level of the core for this because you could actually automatically you could just unlock the the dual wield pistols like you can unlock a kembo without leveling leveling the gun up to unlock a kembo so that's the only that's the way you're gonna have to go through that and you can like for the pistols if you for the kembo challenges they're actually really really good like the hip fire accuracy for using a kembo is actually very good i love it a lot it's much it's almost like um it's kind of like how modern warfare 2019's uh akembo pistols were where it's like it's it's like really good it like the spread there's just barely any spread it's very accurate uh for the gold the gilded challenge i forgot to call like all these challenges uh well all the camo is different I'm still call it gold just because that's kind of like it's basically what it is but uh for the gold challenge of this uh what you need to do is get 10 kills without enemies damaging you so the best way of doing this is to go inside a hardcore because the way this works is that 
you are to get 10 kills clean and what I mean by clean is that you just can't get hurt so get 10 kills without getting hurt and you're finished done in a flash and if you do this in hardcore this pistol does one shot from like from close range and I'm pretty sure one shots all the way to like long range too and depending on how you build it like um, if you put the aftermarket part on here which allows it to like shoot one bullet that as soon as you let go of the trigger it shoots another bullet so it's like a double action trigger when you have that it'll make it would make everything so much faster because for one you're shooting much faster than if you had like you'll shoot faster even if you had the fastest trigger so even if you had this like this uh trigger you will still shoot faster with the aftermarket part and here's like a little example for those who actually want to see like the difference this is the difference so this is the fastest trigger on the core and actually here let me use the button on my mouse because uh it allows me to shoot even faster that's the fastest this gun can go so it's pretty fast it's really really fast but if I put the aftermarket part on here it gets rid of the trigger but like this is what it looks like so it's probably like a little faster or maybe like the same but like I definitely think it's a little faster because even it doesn't even really matter if you have the trigger finger for it because like that's me holding the trigger down and once I let go of the trigger it shoots again so for one you're leaving less stress on either your mouse or your controller and your finger and uh, you're actually kind of like giving yourself a little bit of a rest so that is the conversion kit compared to the trigger very good so for the forge for the forge you had to get 15 kills uh 15 kills on injured enemies so for you to get this is basically just telling you to steal people's kills so the best way of doing this is not in hardcore but in regular core so you could do this in um uh, you could do this in terminal rust night but you can try it in rust you might it might be better in Rust because of how the spawns are and like the way that other, everybody is basically just getting shot off their spawns. So this will actually be really good in Rust. Um, and as a matter of fact, I think in three days we have Shipment. So Shipment is coming back, well coming to this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still like the original Shipment, but Shipment is coming back. So. You can also use this gun in shipment, if, even if you don't want to like go inside of like the bloodthirst, jeez, the cruel and very very difficult game of, uh, I forgot the name of the map, but if you don't want to play that map, um, just wait until shipment comes, because I mean it's going to be so much easier. Uh, for priceless, all you gotta do is get headshots. The best way of doing this for getting headshots is actually in hardcore. So all you gotta do is aim head level. Uh, you can build this however you want. Because, I mean, any, I'm pretty sure... Well, no. Not all guns one shot to the head. But this gun will one shot to the head. So you can build it into like some kind of like range pistol. And you can one shot to the head. So that's the easiest way of doing this pistol all the way. Next up is the Renetti. So the Renetti, don't mind that. Uh, so the, for the Renetti, which is like the same Renetti from um, Modern Warfare 2019, this Renetti is it's decent. I'm not gonna lie. I for leveling up the Renetti, you could do it in multiplayer. You might have a better chance of upgrading it in uh, hardcore or in zombies. That way you can level it up faster. And for the camo challenges, what you need to do is get 50 kills 
50 kills while aiming down sight, uh, 10 kills while moving with the Renetti, and a Kembo. So, still the same thing as uh, the core. For this, for Gilded, you have to get 10 kills without the enemy damaging you. So, very easy, very simple. Just go to hardcore. As long as you don't get shot and you kill that other p person, you're good. You completed the challenge. Uh, forge. So, for this, they want you to get 25 long shots. This is... This is going to be a hard... Not necessarily like a hard um, camo challenge because the best way of doing this is doing it through uh, hardcore. So if you can turn, if you have um, the aftermarket part, this conversion kit. So um, if you get this part, this convert, well, this aftermarket part, it will turn into full auto, and well, you have more bullet velocity. So with this, you actually have more attachments. So I'm gonna go to my build. But with this, you will have more attachments, and um, it would just feel much better. So this is going to be really good for long shots. This is what I run. I actually changed this. Um, I changed the optic. Like I would probably use this one, the uh, Cronin Instalos optic, or the Slate Reflector, just because it's going to like keep the recoil to a minimum. If you ran run this at like a two. Like a 2.5, I think is it. It's like all the other scopes. Yeah, they're 2.5s. If you run it at a 2.5, you're going to have a lot of recoil. Now, you can build it differently from what I have. But I highly recommend just like having a 50 round drum. Through regular like core multiplayer, just doing it hardcore. That way you could just get one shot kills uh, to the head, and it would just be so much easier. Because then you could do it at like any range without uh, the stipulation. Well, like you have it to get like a whole like I think it takes two bursts to uh, really kill. I mean they buffed this a lot from um, from the beta. Like this from the beta, the Renetti was incredibly horrible i couldn't get a single kill i think i only got like maybe three kills with this thing and that was when me really trying to get a kill with it this thing was so incredibly weak but they buffed it now so now it takes four shots to, uh four to five shots to kill which is like two bursts so uh that's for priceless headshots and now for the tier so the tier is one of my favorite challenges to do. I mean, the Renetti was also like a really good one to do, but a tier was also like really good. So for the tier, you just gotta get 50 kills, 50 kills ADS, 10 kills while moving, 15 kill, 15 kills uh, a Kempo. So for the Kempo, there are snake shots, but the snake shots aren't good. So snake shots aren't at, like overpowered like how all the other snake shots were. For this type of snake shots, it takes you gotta hit the person like with the Kimbo, you gotta hit the person four times really. Like three to four times. And that's for you to like actually kill them. You cannot like one shot this in regular core. But if you take this as a hardcore, you'll one shot automatically. Uh, then for Gilded, you gotta get 10 kills without taking damage, so just go straight to Hardcore. Forge, get 25 uh, one-shot kills, just go to Hardcore. For this gun, it one-shots in all... Yeah, it, it one-shots from, I'm, I believe, from all ranges. And that's only if you're playing Hardcore, so definitely do this challenge in Hardcore. Because it'll be so much easier. Like, when you're doing it on regular core, it's like a 50-50 shot of you actually making it or not. Uh, 25 kills using a magnification scope. So, 
what this challenge means is that you had to use a mat like any kind of scope so any kind of reticle so all your optics you can use any one of these it doesn't matter what it is all it has to be is an optic you have to have an optic in order for you to do this challenge if you don't have an optic well it's not going to count uh then for the stinger i'm not gonna lie i actually hated this this challenge a lot because this gun it's the gun it has like a few bullets but it's slow and i believe it was much faster in the beta but then they probably nerfed it just because it was like it was pretty overpowered like that's what everyone was running in uh the beta so again 50 kills 50 kills ads 10 kills while moving and 50 at kempo so for this one uh 10 kills without the 10 kills without the uh enemy damaging you go to hardcore uh for this get hip fire what did it say hip fire kills while strafing so doing this challenge you want to go to you pretty much want to go to hardcore so you want to make some like for this you can actually use a kembo but just make it like really really hip fire build like a really good hip fire build because what you have to do is move left and right you cannot move up and down because that's not you strafing strafing is when you're moving left and right or you know just keep going left or keep going right you just have to keep going like left or right that's the only way you can do this challenge if you don't do it then you're not going to be able to do, complete this challenge so go to hardcore for this because it'll be much easier than you doing this in core uh for this for priceless you have to get 25 kills affected by your tactical by your tactical using a kembo attachment so this is kind of like two challenges in one so for one you had to kill somebody with who's affected by your tactical it can't be no one else's it has to be your tactical so the way i do this is always i always use stuns because that seems to be like the only thing that really works i tried it with gas grenades uh and that didn't work for me i'm not sure if it might it might work with the uh tracking the tracking uh grenades so i'm not sure i haven't tested that out but i would assume that it might help or maybe with snaps because i was i mean i would assume that that's still them being affected by your tactical but if that doesn't work just use stuns if you don't even want to test it out just use stuns and for this the best way of doing this is actually core so you want to do this in like regular multi like regular core matches if you do on a hardcore you're gonna have a much tougher time because one you're gonna die much faster and not just that before you didn't even get the kill you had to be like really really like you gotta be like really moving like you gotta hit hit someone with attack with your stun and like basically get killed after right afterwards or else uh it won't count then for the for the launcher so this is what everyone hates because i mean i I had a tough time of leveling, not leveling it up, but just doing the camo challenge. And this camo challenge is extremely dumb. I hate this so incredibly much because it just doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense, but like, I feel like they could have brought, made it more, a little more broad just to make the challenge easier. So, uh, first things first, you gotta get 25 kills with the RGL. So the best way of doing this and you unlock this at level 4, so you definitely level it up first, because, I mean, if it's not leveled up, like, go to zombies and level it up, because it will be, for one, it's going to be extremely fun to play with. I mean, who's not trying to run around with a packed RP, uh, grenade launcher in zombies? But, um, to get this, you got to go to hardcore. So, hardcore, this gun uh, will actually kill, so it will one-shot and if they have EOD, they will two-shot. If you do this on regular multiplayer, it takes, I believe it takes three shots and that's without EOD, like to get a kill. Then if you have EOD, it takes like six shots, five, six shots. So 
just go to hardcore when doing this camo challenge. It's just going to make your life so much easier. And for the Gilded, for this you had to get direct hits with uh, with each, each of the grenades. So as long as it hits them, you are, you're, you're okay. So for this, I actually do this on, you can either do this on, reg, on hardcore or you could do this in regular core. And the way I do this is I go for clo like close quarters kills because um, this thing has pretty bad velocity and it's really hard to hit somebody um, like directly from like a much farther range. So it's really just do like try and do this like close up close and personal, almost like you're playing with a shotgun. Because uh, I think even direct impacts with this, like from down range, won't kill. Or it will kill um, normal people, but if they have EOD, I think it doesn't kill. I think it takes two shots for it to, like, officially kill. And uh, for Forge, so this is the challenge that everyone dreads. And rightfully so, because it says that you had to kill, you had to destroy 25 enemy equipment. So you're probably wondering how in the world you're gonna be able to do this. So for this challenge, the game modes, like what I extremely recommend for this challenge is to either go in hardcore and go inside it for free for all. And I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna sound incredibly silly, but trust me, if you go to like, probably even like a regular core uh, free for all, It'll be easier because if you have a mic and you know you have other people talking, uh, you can actually ask them to like you know Ryan Claymores. Because the only way for you to actually get this challenge done is it has to be Claymores, Proxy Mines, and apparently, and I don't know why it works, but um, Cluster Mines also count. So Cluster Mines also count towards you getting uh enemy equipment uh dish kills so it doesn't work on any tacticals which i really really hate it doesn't work on tacticals it doesn't work on field upgrades it doesn't work on score streaks but the one score streak that does work and i know for sure is cluster mines so if someone's running cluster mines destroy those things because that's going to uh this one account towards your it's gonna to count towards your um, like those your challenge. So I haven't tried. I tried to do it on a Santa. I'm not sure if it works or not. I don't think it does. I done it with a mosquito drone. It does not work. Guardians don't work. Uh, counter UAVs do not work. And it sounds crazy, but I actually hit like I actually was trying to hit uh, counter UAVs with the RGL. It just doesn't work. So don't even waste your time with any of those things. The one thing I do know for sure that works is the cluster mine. That's like, I'm 100%, I'm 100% about that. Cluster mines work for the challenge. Now for tacticals, um, don't bother. Any, none of these tacticals. So like even the scatter mine, the scatter mine, I would, like for me, I would assume that like, a scatter mine would count for your equipment because I mean that's kind of like some you're throwing out but it does not work it does not count so don't waste the bullet don't waste the RGL bullets on this uh, decoys also do not work shock six don't work um, so like no tacticals will work for your uh, no tacticals will work for your camo challenge it has to be claymores claymores Naturally, let me change my best. So it has to be claymores, proxy mines, and that's it. I tried with breacher drones, and that sounds crazy that I actually tried it, but even that doesn't work. So it has to be claymores and proxy mines. Now, I'm would I like again? I highly recommend going inside of a hardcore lobby because I mean, hardcore free for all people are. Like, no one really plays hardcore free-for-all for, like, fun. They're mostly probably doing that for, like, camo challenges. Like, 
I actually, I was in one of the lot like a lobby with uh with just some random people like in a free for all from hardcore and we all worked together of like throwing down claymores helping each other with out with uh this camo challenge so you can try this with other modes like the, another mode that actually will work is uh search and destroy but i don't think anyone really wants to try their hand in search because i mean once you're dead you're dead so it's really it really is like a 50 50 shot of you either getting to claim more or not so that's kind of that's like my way of doing it so again i highly recommend just going inside a free-for-all if you have a mic speak through your mic and just ask for claymores because most of those people like most of the hardcore free-for-all players are actually pretty nice yeah i'm not saying like nice like oh yeah they're good but i mean like they're actually like pretty genuine like they will actually help you with uh this challenge now for priceless this is something you're going to do in hardcore so the only way for you to even really get a kill with the rgl is in hardcore and that's just for easy kills like you can nuke t you can like uh you can bomb someone's spawn and you if you keep doing that you're going to keep boosting up that like your kills well uh you're going to like complete the challenge incredibly quick now for melees so melees i haven't gotten all the way done but melees actually aren't as bad as some may think so for the base for the base one you have to get 50 kills that's it then you get to move on to the gilded which uh you had to get 10 kills uh well from people who are affected by your tactical so just run stuns run a shield and like the way you should run your class is run engineer vest run the riot shield and just run one of the melee weapons so it could be the Krambit or the gunner knife just run one of these melee weapons but the most important part a part of uh, your class setup is a having more than one tactical so more than one stuns b having a fuel upgrade c being able to have four perks so it's going to help you out incredibly like with this perk setup so having quick grip gloves use this because this is going to allow you to swap from your shield to your knife incredibly fast and for just in case you were being shot at and i'm like for this challenge uh for all the melee challenges do some regular core and since shipment's about to come out you can wait until shipment and you'll probably blow through this knife and like i don't know like you could definitely blow through this knife and it will be light perk because one of the challenges is to have to, to get five kills without dying so yeah for this, for both of the knives, run quick grip gloves because it's going to allow you to swap the melee weapon, well, your shield and your knife much faster. Get Use covert sneakers, that way they can't hear your footsteps. Use, well, this is kind of like to eat your zone. I personally would recommend, I personally recommend using track, well, this black light flashlight, but basically it's tracker. So that's gonna allow you to see all your enemies' footsteps. Then ghosts. Ghosts is something you wanna have, like ghosts is essential to pretty much all your classes. If you don't wanna be pinged by the UAV, use ghosts. But with ghosts, I'm pretty sure it's still, yeah, you have to be moving for ghosts to even work. Like you can use EOD, but I mean, your shield blocks grenades as long as it doesn't stick to your shield. So yeah, just use Ghost. Ghost and even Data Jacker would be like pretty like a good pick because that's gonna allow you to like see where like the other um, where the other enemies' teammates are. So it's kind of like giving you foresight of where they are. Now for the camo challenges. Oh, I didn't go to the regular knife. Uh, for the knife. The camo challenges are 10 kills affected by your tactical, so very simple. 
uh, for Forge, you had to get five kills without dying five times with a gunner knife. So this is not as bad as that. You might think. It's actually, it's pretty fairly, it's fairly simple. And especially since shipments better come out, you're gonna be able to blow through this challenge like easily. Like this go, this is not going to even take you like no time whatsoever. Especially if you run to sit like the class setup I just showed you. So for this challenge, all you basically got to do is like you know utilize your stuns. But I, what I recommend for this challenge and like this challenge specifically is to use smokes. So for the smokes, I mean you're going to blind your enemy. And like no one's gonna see, be able to see through the smokes unless they're using thermals, which I mean, some people do, but it, thermals are more so used in hardcore. So the likelihood of someone actually really running a thermal is fairly low, and you'll be able to like breeze through this challenge. Especially like, again, since like sh shipments better come out, you're gonna be able to blow through this. For priceless, all you have to do is get 15 revenge kills. So. This is probably going to be this is going to be something that's going to that might take a while. I'm not sure if comebacks also count because I mean that's kind of like a revenge thing too. But uh, all you had to do is just get the revenge medal um, 15 times. So kill the person who killed you and just keep doing that like 15 times. Then you're done. Then since again we're about to have shipment, this should be much easier because I mean. We're having the same shipment from uh, Modern Warfare 2, so all they did was just like transfer it over. I don't think it was altered or anything. Uh, for the Karambit, so the Karambit, one of my favorite knives. For this, you had to get 50 kills with the Karambit. For Gilded, you had to get 10, kill 10 kills uh, affected by tacticals. So you got hit. So the people got to get hit with uh, your tactical. And you had to get the kill for it. Uh, get 20 kills without the enemy damaging you with a Karambit. So, very, very easy, very simple. You could do, like, all the knife challenges, you could just do in regular core. Hardcore is going to be too hard because, for one, in hardcore, you're only, I mean, you're going to die in, like, one, one, two shots. So, what's the point in, like, lo lessening your, what's the point of, like, lowering, lowering your chances of getting this challenge done? in hardcore when you could do it so much easier in a regular multiplayer core match so for priceless you get 10 kills from behind so i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm very very happy that i'm like i'm pretty sure that this is like the only challenge where like the only camo challenge where you actually had to do something from behind so i'm so happy that there's like no other ones or at least like there's very few because this challenge like i did the camo challenge for model warfare 2019 or uh um, well yeah i did th that one but i meant to do uh met 20 uh 2022 so model warfare 2 they had a bunch of challenges where you had to get kills from behind and it was incredibly glitchy and it was very very difficult to even get kills from behind so yeah, that is all of your secondaries, like a way of doing all your secondaries. So I hope this video did help you guys out entirely. Um, please be sure to leave a like, that way others can see this video, that way it could be like, you know, like uh, post, be more like a little more like promoted and broadcast to others, that way uh, they can get like the help that they need. For all these camo challenges and if you guys could also subscribe I would also greatly appreciate it um, and without further ado I'll see you guys in the next video which might I'm not sure if anyone has seen um, seen one of my videos but uh, I might be releasing a um, Valorant video if you guys haven't seen my other one it was the Yuru experience um, if you guys haven't seen that definitely go check that out because that's going to be like another video but this time it's going to be with chamber um which is probably like one of my favorite characters and um 
if not, uh, it will probably be some, like, it will probably be, like, the zombies, uh, outbreak thing. Like, the mission guide. So, yeah. Again, hope this did help you guys out in any type of way. Um, again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.